So tell us, just give us a little bit of background um, on how you got started with everything and how you got to this point, to where okay. you are now. Okay, um, when I first started, you talking about rapping period? Right. Okay, um, you, I don't know if you, anybody heard, but the Dex Osama dude that just passed away in Detroit, that was actually like one of my guy friends. And okay. um, I came to him when I was dancing and I told him, like, I want to be a rapper. And he was like, you can do it. So we ex we excited in the car. He's like, oh my God, you can do it. You got the look for it. You already got your chain made. This and that, me, him and his friend was in the car. We were so excited. So we went to a studio that night and we did something off uh, Biggie Beat, uh, Get Money. And I did a freestyle to it. He Word. helped me. Okay. And I put it out. And um, I put it on Instagram and everything. This was like back then. And um, he wanted me to stop being a dancer so bad because he, he liked me as a person too. So okay. he was like, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. And when I put it out, I got a feature and they paid me twenty five hundred dollars for it. What? So I was like, I'm a rapper. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got paid for a feature or whatever. So I was so excited and um but when I seen that it took me time to write, right. I was like, okay. And then composed to me doing parties every weekend and stuff like that, I was like, I don't know. So I kinda backed away from it a little bit. And right. then the Tanache two on came out. And I like that song so much. I'm like, if she had a girl on there rapping, mm. this song would be even more dope than Super what it dope. is. So I'm like, okay. So I went to the studio with this guy named Juwan. Mm -hmm. And um, we made it. Right. And when I said that it was phenomenal, <laughs> wake up in the morning, give me head, nigga. What? Treat me like a queen, breakfast in the bed, nigga. Mm. Yeah. If you scared, call the ref, nigga. Thick mm. bitch. So you better come prepared, nigga. <laughs> That on top of being on to on, it was like dope. So they put me in rotation in the radio at home, not just in the mix shows, but in rotation over mm -hmm. at um, Hot 107.5. Yes, sir. Jay Hicks called me up. Mm -hmm. He wants to meet me. And I went down there. We met, took pictures, and they put me in rotation. It was like, dang, man, that's crazy. Like, wow. damn, I'm living this moment. And I was just, man, I was excited. And then I started getting booked to come perform this two on all in the Midwest, like Milwaukee, Ohio, all these places. It was booking me to come out to perform. Wow. So I didn't have a retirement party like all the rest sure. of the dancers do. I said, I'm done. Huh, I'm sure. done. I'm not going back. back. It's over. Wow. It's over because a lot of people have those retirement parties and they end up coming back. Wow. Even though I only did it for a year, I did what I had to do and I felt like that was my calling. I'm like, I'm not going back. Right. I'm not. And the amazing part is you can tell you was born a boss. Because if you know anything about Detroit, you're not getting your radio. You're not getting the music playing on radio. Hmm. Just they ain't like playing. That. Not like uh -uh. that. Not like she just uh -uh. said. Uh -uh. A lot of people pay their way. You gotta pay. And you see like and you getting the, the wax spots then. I ain't even But Jay paying. hits to call her and say, listen, we finna put you in rotation, then you straight up. Boss. And I don't want no money. Wow. You know what I'm saying? They just respect my craft and what I, I love 107.5 for that. I love them and I will always love them. Period. But that was my way out. Mm -hmm. And once that happened, it was over. It was over. And your first single uh, was called Freestyle? No, that wasn't my first single. My first single was From the Back. From the oh. And I actually did the feature with the guy, Juwan, that went in with me to help me with 2-1. Okay. Because the, the Dex guy went to, um, he was gone for a minute. Okay. And um, so I did it with the guy, Juwan. Hmm. And we did the feature, and we did a video, and it was crazy. Then I had a song called Old Free oh, that women could relate to, because everybody got that Old Free. What's that hook like? It be like, um, silly bitches don't phase me. She hit my old nigga, now she thinking that he played me. Ha! Yeah, chick, you got my Old Free. Yeah, chick, you got my Old Free. Chick, you got my Old Free. <laughs> <laughs> so all the women love that song. Huh. They loved it. And when I put that out, it was it was just like I was putting out these singles and it was just so amazing, man. Like I was watching myself grow as the artist already and I was just in a, a good place. It, it would you know come with come with the all that it comes with a lot of hate, but I made it through that. 
Right. So how did you handle it? Like, because you said everybody, the chicks like the song. Yeah. So how did you handle all of the hate that came with it too? I kind of just snapped. I got a little. I got. I snapped. I snapped just a little bit. A lot of bit. <laughs> <laughs> I be having stuff to say back because I be wanting people. Not even like I just be wanting to make them feel bad. I just want them to realize like. Hating on me is not gonna make you better. That's mm. not gonna make you what throwing shade on me is not gonna help you shine, boo. It's not. it's not. So you need to focus on yourself because that's why your old freak is still. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not gonna say it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just, I just sometimes like when I snap back, I don't want to make people feel bad. I just want them to know like it's more to life than hating. It's, like it's, you, you don't get paid to hate. It's right? actually a reflex. Yeah, you, you, you get paid to, to do this or to do that or to do, you could be a police officer a firefighter you could be even a stripper you know what i'm saying be making money but you ain't making no money being a hater y'all choose everything but uh, to be a hater right if it's anything shit. that cashed out can do differently what would if you can change anything what would cash out go back and change nothing nothing that's awesome nothing, nothing. i love everything that happened to me that's all it all is a, it's a lesson life is a lesson so everything that happened i needed it to happen because it taught me something everything Okay, and what do you think, like, is your one a uh, big challenge that you face throughout this career path? The biggest challenge was when, is the comparison. I don't really care for the comparison like that because everybody got their own way of coming up and, and their own way of um, expressing what they, how they feel or, 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 or um, their own little path, their own lane. I feel like, I don't feel like no female rapper have the same lane. Every one of them have their own Lane. Every last one of them. I don't feel like none of us is alike, but we're all females. Right. I feel like they do that to guys. Mm -hmm. Guys have their own lanes, but why is it one lane for females? Right. You know what I mean? I, I I respect every last one of them, and I like I love me some Trina. Trina. I love me some Trina. I love me some Nikki. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When Lil Kim and Foxy was coming up, I was kind of um, younger, yeah. so that's like my mama. But I, I know them and I respect them and every female artist, the brat, you know what I mean? All of them, Missy Elliott, even the ones coming up now, I, I, I respect all of them. But sometimes, you know, like a, like not insecure women, they kind of take comparison and they kind of say the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I don't like that shit. Right. So I don't like when you compare me to somebody from my city and and. and I, and, and, and you say something back, you don't even need to address it because they're going to compare regardless. I got you. Yeah. Well, I think you want is not to be compared. I think you stand alone. You, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, I you, think you that's want it. for real. You can't. They don't even compare. You can't be compared. I can't. But how does it feel to go from the three one three to the four zero four to the three zero five to the seven one seven to the nine five nine? That's just that's just a without and, without a major label behind me or a label at all. That's great. That's boss. That's yeah. a boss. Yeah. I, I'm with my own moves. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm doing this on my own. I ain't got nobody behind me. I ain't gotta, I make my money and I flip my money into myself. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, in other words, tell with our listeners, our viewers, you invested in yourself. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So I feel good. <laughs> December 18th. Right. I album release. I Atlanta, Detroit. MGM Grand Tonight Casino. Tonight. 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 Going right. down. I'm at home. I got a question. You know. I, I don't know how if I'd be able to take it if I was a celebrity be having anybody running me cast out, cast out, or, or, or handsome, handsome, man. Maybe do that, but they don't just do it on your skin. Ah! But cast out, cast out. How does that feel though, cast out? Yeah, I feel good. I just wow. be smiling. I never have an attitude. I be smiling. I love it. I embrace it. Yeah. 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 It feels good. It feels good. It feels good. You know, feel good. And, wow. With a T. Yeah. It feels good. <laughs> <laughs> it feels good. So listen, we need y'all to definitely, you, you you know who she is, Cash Out, pick up this album, uh, December 18th. Uh, Cash Out, was it, where, 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 where can we, where we can, we pick up your, uh, your, your album, is it, is it YouTube? Everywhere. It, uh, okay. Everywhere. It ain't nowhere, it's not it. Everywhere, it's not it. Where's your album not at? I don't know. I don't. It's right. not it. <laughs> well, well, how, how long did it take to actually put it together? Like, what was the process like? The process was, okay, cool. I'll get to tell y'all. So, so Donnie Lau, that's which is actually R. Kelly's um, um, producer. Okay. That's like some family mm -hmm. to me. And um, 
he came with some bangers. And um, so I went to Detroit. I, I record with him. I come here. I record with Deb and, and the whole team here. Zay told me. Mm -hmm. I'm, um, you know, Zay told me. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Timberland. Man, Timberland. So it's like wow. meeting all these people and, and coming together. Mm -hmm. it, it was a process. You know what I'm saying? So he was pick this song, pick this song, pick this song, pick this song, and actually make it and make sense. When you go when you go get it, you're going to understand what I mean. Making it make sense. Like, mm -hmm. I'll have a love song from Keisha, then I'll have a fuck these niggas song for Cash Doll. Right. So back to back, they all got a meaning, you know what I mean? And, right. and, and it makes sense. Okay. So, it was a process, but it came together. Okay, it came yeah. together, okay. y'all. Well, how did you hook up with Deb and Badass? You know what's so crazy? I wanted to work with Deb. I always wanted to work with Dale when I first started. I was like, that's the woman I want to work with. And this was when I did the freestyle and all that, but I, I didn't take it serious or whatever. I just left him alone. But I got booked to come perform out of New York. Mm -hmm. And it's this guy named Dapper. I would never forget. He was my driver. Mm -hmm. And he was driving me around. And he was actually a, a, a bae. Mm -hmm. Not a fan of bae. And he was like, uh, he like, what? Like, um, you should get Deb to manage you. I said, man, you know what's crazy? I want Deb to manage you. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I can call her right now. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Right. You can't call her. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Right. So I'm in the back looking at the nigga. I'm leaning over now, like, you can call her. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he calls her and I hear her voice. You know, I know everybody knows her voice. Right. So I'm like, I'm in the back seat like this. Mouth open. So he like, he telling her this and that. He gave me her number. So I've been calling her. She was sending me. She was fitting me. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> so uh, she, I tell her, you know what? I ain't gonna play with this lady. Come out for my birthday party. I want you to see my concert. So right. she comes out. We, uh, we fly her out. Hmm. She comes and she sees the concert. Sold out. 2,000 people. St. Andrews in Detroit. Mm -hmm. Sold out. Wow. So I'm like, so is you gonna manage me or what? Right. You know like, what I mean? good. That's good. What can you so say? she like, this is amazing. Wow. You know what I'm saying? She's like, and you don't have a label? And you, didn't, you don't even have... Wow, you did all this by yourself? I'm like, yep. Yep. So, did you know? Wow. She like, of course. Wow. <laughs> so, ever since then, we was like this, but I was still in Detroit. So, when I moved here in Atlanta in August, that's when we got real tight. And okay. we've been working ever since. Cool, How did you, know? you come up with the name Cash Dow? I didn't come up with the name. One of my guy friends came up with the name because every time I come out, you know, I fly shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, I'm looking good. I'm looking good. So, uh, he, every time you see me, he called me Cash Dow. And I love the name, and I just took it and, and ran with it. I put it on all the social media sites. Even when I was just regular, my name was Cash Off. Before I was a dancer, before I was a rapper, it was Cash Off. I think so. you had a major fan base even before you blew up. Yeah. Because even before, way before you left Detroit, when I was in Detroit, I always wanted to see you. I couldn't find you. You was already celebrity me because I, I just couldn't. I, I just couldn't. Because yeah. I feel like if, if, if you if you not exclusive, you not a, you not a star. I mean, you have to be exclusive. You can't just be That's anywhere. Right. You That's can't right. just go That's see right. me here. You're That's not right. gonna just walk in the club and see me sitting there. Like right. I have to be booked there. Right. Or it's a special occasion. And that's when you that's when your status go up. Your status ain't going up if you easy to get to. Everybody can't touch Jay-Z and Beyonce. Look at this. You touching me. That's right. Give me some. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. December 18th, we're here live in the studio with Cash Dow. Her album uh, dropped today. Also, at MGM Grand tonight, Motor City, Detroit. Detroit, support your own. Cash Dow, don't be saying I heard. And listen, let me let me come back this real, real quick. You said something about comparison. That just struck a nerve in me. I don't don't compare her to uh, to any other artist. You know what I'm saying? If you like your artist, listen to that artist. If you don't listen to Cash Dow, support Cash Dow, then listen to Cash Dow. But she's not to be. Uh, compared. Is it fair to say that? I mean, I wouldn't want to be compared to nobody. And she stands in the class all by her, all by herself. You listen to her and, music. And, uh, and you know what? Not, not to get me wrong, I flatter. Mm -hmm. I flatter that they compare me to these people that I already did. They yeah. think they made their mark, and I'm just making mine. I flatter, and I and I respect, and I'm paying homage. You know, mm -hmm. shout out to all of them. Shout mm -hmm. out to Foxy, Nikki, Lil Kim, Missy, the Brat. Shout out to because I was listening to them and I still listen to them. Right. You know what I mean? Not saying that it's nothing wrong with it, but I just don't like when people try to put me down compared to them because it's like how you gonna compare a, a one year run to a, a right. it's a legend. Right. How you go? I ain't even did what I had to do. Right. Just leave me alone. I'm what, having a good time. Your song said if you ain't popping, you ain't got if you ain't if you ain't if you ain't if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. Mm -hmm. So if you got haters, you popping.